Ping, TaylorMade, and Callaway have introduced some awesome ferry woods in 2021. Now it's time to do a head-to-head -head test. Hey golfers, it's Thomas Campbell, Master Club Fitter at Second Swing. Today's video is going to be a head-to-head -head test comparing the Ping G425 Max, the Sim 2 Max, and the Callaway Epic Speed Ferrywood. These are all very, very good ferrywoods. They're fast, they're forgiving, and I'm really excited to complete this test and explain the differences between each model. So each manufacturer that comes out with two to three different ferrywoods every year. So unique thing with TaylorMade and Ping is they have three different ferrywood models. They have their lower spinning, more distance ferrywoods that are for those higher swing speed players. They have the little more forgiving models, and then they have their draw bias models. And Callaway only has two different heads. They have their Epic Speed and their Epic Max Ferry Wood. So they don't quite have that one kind of in between. So I'm going to compare Epic Speed with these other two models, considering it's still gonna be a fairly forgiving model. So the Epic Speed has got 15 degrees aloft. The Sim 2 Max has 15 degrees aloft. And the Ping G425 has 14 and a half degrees aloft. These are all in their standard settings. Ping G425 Max is adjustable, but I want to keep the lie angle the same as we're testing all these models. I'm going to hit a whole bunch of shots. I'm going to take a look at the numbers on TrackMan, and I'm going to explain the differences between each model. I'm going to get started first with the TaylorMade Sim 2 Max Ferrywood. I got this tiny little T here that I'm going to use on the ground today. It's just going to raise the ball ever so slightly, it may make it slightly easier to hit. So think about this as a good test for those players that like to play a fairwood off the tee as well. Okay, so we have six shots with each model. Before I talk about the numbers, I just want to talk on what the test was today with regards to shaft, specs, and what and the loft on the clubs. As I mentioned, 15 degrees of loft on the Sim 2 Max and the Epic Speed, and 14 and a half with the Ping G425. We'll uh, keep that in, in the standard loft. Uh, the golf shafts, so because a couple of these are bonded shafts, they're not going to be the exact same golf shaft, but they're all in that 70 gram category. So I did the Ping Tour 75S, I did the uh, Ventus Blue Fairway 7S, and then I did the uh, Hazardous Smoke IM10 70 gram 6.0 golf shaft. So they're all stiff. They're all set in the 70 gram category with regards to golf shaft. Um, I could really notice a little bit, maybe a difference in the weight, a little bit of a couple of the club heads. I'll talk about that a little bit. But let's talk about the, uh, the looks of these clubs. So first, if I'm looking down at all three of these clubs here, the one thing that stands out to me first is the Sim 2 Max does look like a slightly larger profile versus the other two. It does look like it's shaped a little bit to have the center of gravity pushed back a little bit on that one. It's just a little bit larger profile than the other two. The Epic Speed, as I mentioned, Callaway, they have kind of like only two fairy woods versus the other two that have three different options. It definitely is a little smaller profile, a little bit smaller profile and I would expect it to maybe spin a little bit less. And we'll take a look at the numbers with that there as well. And then you've got the uh, Ping G425 Max Ferrywood. It's kind of in between the two of them. I really like how this looks looking down at it. It's got that matte finish. No longer has those turbulators on the top, so it's a very, very clean looking club. So it's some alignment aid help with some dots there too. But yeah, very, very good looking clubs to look down at. The most colorful of them is definitely the Sim 2 Max with the black, the white, the blue, and the grays going on, where the other two are maybe a little bit more cleaner look with regards to less coloring going on there as well. 
So let's talk numbers. Let's see if there's any differences across the board with these models. So first thing, I talked about the, the weight of the club. So what's kind of interesting is you'll notice the G425 Max, a little bit slower club speed compared to the other two. It did feel just a little bit heavier than the Epic Speed and the Sim 2 Max. So you'll notice my club speed was half a mile an hour slower with the Ping G425 Max compared to the Sim 2 Max and the Epic Speed. So more club speed can equal more potential distance, but let's see if everything else kind of pans out that way. It's kind of interesting, even though I did swing the club a little bit faster with the other two models, the G425 Max actually was almost the highest ball speed. So ball speed is where the distance is at. So you'll notice 159.8 with the G425 Max, 158.7 with the Sim 2 Max, and then the epic speed was 160.1. So that's interesting because the Ping G425, it does have half a degree less loft on it, and that's partly to do with why you might get a little bit more ball speed compared to the Sim 2 Max that's got 15 degrees of loft, even though this Sim 2 Max was swinging a little bit faster than the G425 Max. You can see my efficiency was very, very good with all of them across the board. It was kind of interesting how the Epic Speed was launching just a little bit lower than the other two models, and it was also spinning just a little bit less than the other two models. You'll notice the spin rate was about 3,100 RPMs with the Epic Speed. The G425 Max was 3,247, and the Sim 2 Max was 3,146. One thing that does stand out to me a little bit, the Sim 2 Max, if you look at the spin consistency, you'll notice was plus or minus 502, while the other two were a little bit lower on the spin consistency. So Ping, for example, has come out with spin consistency as a term to help with inconsistent spin rates. And you definitely can notice that it's definitely spinning more consistently, especially if you don't quite catch it perfect. Epic speed was also pretty good. You'll notice the epic speed consistency was actually the lowest of them there as well. If we look at the carry distance consistency, G425 max there as well was plus or minus 6.3, just a little bit more consistent there as well across the board. So spin consistency, it is a thing. Uh, the way the club's designed with a little bit less loft down the bottom, if you catch it low on the face, which a lot of people do with a fairy wood, it's definitely a good option to try and get that ball to carry the same distance or go the same distance every single time. And you can kind of see that on the dispersion pattern over here on the right. You can see how those yellow circles may be a little bit kind of closer together as opposed to, for example, the Epic Speed, which is a little bit kind of further apart with regards to those purple dots being in different locations there as well. But the club that did go the furthest was the Epic Speed, 272 carry going 289 and a half. Sim 2 Max was 268.5 going 285.4. And the G425 Max was 270.1 going 285.9 yards. So kind of interesting, if we look at the dispersion pattern, you can see that I had a general trend to draw the ball a little bit easier with the Sim 2 Max, and that could be to do with the profile of the club just being a little bit larger, having that CG a little bit placed back a little bit further to make it a little bit easier to kind of draw over the, to the left. I actually only had one shot with the Sim 2 Max. That's that white circle up there that I left the ball right of center. Everything else was a little bit left. If you look at the other two, they're maybe leaning towards more in the middle of the fairway. So this was a really interesting test comparing Callaway, TaylorMade, and Ping. New fairy woods available here in 2021. So come on in and get fit like a pro at second swing. Also, don't forget to bring in your trades. So Brit trades will help offset the prices on the new fairy woods that'll work great for your bag.